Welcome back everyone to Most Amazing Top 10. My name's Danny Burke and these right here are two videos where you seem to absolutely love me talking about some really, really creepy sounds. Well, I heard you, I went away and I gathered even more for you guys and now I'm back with the Top 10 Scariest Sounds Ever Recorded, Part 3. Now some of the ones later on in this list might genuinely be pretty disturbing to some of you guys. I'm not saying that to just hype it up, I just know that some people like a little bit of a warning. Okay, with that out of the way, we're going to start things off now at number 10 with the Swedish Rhapsody. Now in one of our previous videos we talked a little bit about number stations. They are places that send out very creepy signals, they seem to come from just secret locations that are thought to be used as communication posts between spies and their governments. Well I'm not sure if they're also required to be very creepy because they usually are. And this one called the Swedish Rhapsody was one of the creepiest. Nobody has ever been able to decode its message. It features a small girl speaking in German and some music from your childhood nightmares. I don't know what the secret message was there, but I'm not going to keep listening to find out. Moving on to number 9 now, we have the sound of Jupiter. When NASA's Voyager craft visited Jupiter for the first time ever in 1979, it studied its powerful magnetosphere, whose magnetic effect is about 4,000 times stronger than Earth. Now Voyager got very close up and picked up the signals of this. NASA then turned that signal into sound. Many people say that what you're about to hear is very haunting, and that it sounds like celestial voices in deep space. Now that noise is apparently made by magnetically charged particles being blasted out into space. So at least I can tick Space Ghost off my list of scary things. Next up at number 8 we have the intruder. Do ghosts and paranormal things freak you out guys? What about scary house intruders in the middle of the night? Well this next clip could really be either of those. A woman called Jenny posted to reddit a recording from a sleeping app she was using to see how restless her sleep was and hopefully improve it. Usually she only heard the occasional cough or shuffle. But one night it recorded this, a strange clicking sound which woke Jenny up. You hear her asking, what are you doing? A man's voice then clearly replies saying, nothing. Then the clicking continues and we hear him mutter something else towards the end of the clip. See what you guys think. What are you doing? One reddit user said this was the sound of a home intruder who was actually in Jenny's room and going through her stuff and that she woke up and she was like half asleep and then he said I'm not doing anything. That is creepy. Alright moving on to number 7 now we have The Quacker. Silly name, but bear with me guys. From the 1960s to the 1980s, at the height of the Cold War, submarines and oceans around the world started to pick up a very strange sound deep in the ocean. The Russian crews who first heard it had no idea what it was. It seemed to be coming from a very fast moving underwater craft or animal that would circle the submarines at speeds of up to 200 kilometers an hour. That's way faster than any man-made vessel. Whatever it was, the Russians called them quackers and it freaked them out big time. By the end of the 80s the mysterious sound had mysteriously disappeared altogether. Now scientists say it came from mink whales but some people still maintain it was maybe secret government technology, undiscovered ocean creatures or even aliens. Next up at number 6 now we have the chimpanzee 911 call. In 2009 police in Connecticut received a phone call from Sandra Herald, the owner of Travis the chimpanzee who she'd had for about 14 years. In all that time Travis seemed very sociable and non violent but on this day one of Sandra's friends had come to visit. She was holding one of Travis's favourite toys in her hand and when he saw that he attacked her. Travis ripped her hands off. He ripped her eyes out and all of her face off and her jaw too. Sandra made this desperate call as she watched her friend getting torn to pieces and it is truly disturbing. He's dead. He ripped her apart. He ripped what apart? Her face? Everything. Please. 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 
please hurry. Moving on to number five, we have the Jonestown Massacre. Now, Jonestown was a religious cult that was set up by Reverend Jim Jones in Guyana in 1974. Hundreds of American cult members made the journey with him to live there over the next few years. He wanted to set up this sort of communist haven, far away from any interfering governments. By 1978, Jim Jones's mental health had begun to deteriorate, and his paranoia that the US government was trying to stop what they were doing led to a very terrible decision. He ordered all of his followers followers to meet in the centre of Jamestown, at which point he commanded them to drink poison juice. And they did. 918 of them died that day, including 287 children who were forced to drink this. Jim Jones actually recorded something called the death tape, an audio recording of the event as his followers died around him. This is a chilling segment from that tape. Skip ahead now if you don't want to hear this. It's pretty disturbing. We didn't commit suicide. We committed an act of revolutionary suicide protesting the conditions of an inhumane world. Okay, next up at number four, we have The Murder Call. The story goes with this one that an old woman called Ruth Price lived alone and often called police saying that she thought someone was watching her. Eventually, the police got a little bit fed up of this and they stopped taking her paranoia seriously until one day, this call came through. Okay, where is he now, ma'am? I don't have no idea. <laughs> Apparently, after the line went dead, Ruth was killed by the attacker. Now, some people say this call was used in police training afterwards as an example of why the operator should always get the caller's information before anything bad happens. But other people still doubt its authenticity. What do you guys think? Coming at number three now, we have the ghost song. The story behind this one is that it was written by a musician who was trying to find the sound of pure evil, suffering, and death. He finally created this song after a lot of work, simply called The Ghost Song. However, just one week after its completion, it seemed to drive him mad and he apparently killed himself. This is a segment of that song. Years later, people said this was actually written by a man called David Byrne, who was alive and well. For some people, that's a bit more comforting, but for others, even if that is true, it doesn't make this song any less scary. People still report having the strangest feeling wash over them when they hear it. Moving on to number two now, we have Julia. Now you guys might remember in our part one video, we talked about the bloop, a strange sort of underwater sound that some people said came from a gigantic underwater creature. Well, a similar thing happened on March 1st, 1999 when a large network of hydrophones called the Eastern Equatorial Pacific Array picked up another strange sound. Now theorists say this is all proof of a monumentally huge creature or creatures lurking in the ocean depths. Take a listen. One explanation for that is that it's the sound of an Antarctic iceberg scraping on the ocean floor. But to this day, opinion is divided, leaving many people still picturing a giant ocean beast. And finally, at the number one spot, we have Kevin Cosgrove's 9-11 call. On September the 11th, 2001, Kevin Cosgrove, a 45-year-old businessman, was in the South Tower at the World Trade Center in New York. He was trapped above the impact zone of the plane that day and couldn't get any further down because of the flames and smoke. Kevin climbed to the 105th floor. He called some of his family, he called his friends, and he called his brother, but the next call he made to the police is the one that sends chills down people's spines. This call you're about to hear captures the last moments of his life as the South Tower started to collapse around him. This may very well be disturbing to some of you guys. Here it is. We're looking at all, we're looking at financial center. Two us, two broken windows. Well guys, those were 10 more of the scariest sounds ever recorded. I just want to go and listen to really happy sounds now, but I think I've forgotten what they even sound like. Either way, I hope you enjoyed or were scared by this video. Keep your suggestions coming for our next most amazing top 10 video in the comment section below. My name is Danny Burke, thanks for watching and I'll see all you guys in the next one.